Here's a pan-seared lobster recipe. We're going to get started with a large pot with a steamer basket, and we're going to put four cups of water in it. And then we'll cover it and bring it up to a boil before we add the lobsters to it. And we'll put a lid on the pot, and we're going to let the lobsters cook for four minutes. Now, that's not fully cooked. It's just enough to kill the lobsters, so then we can cut the tails off. Take the lobsters out and place them on a plastic cutting board. Watch out, they're hot. Rip the tail off. Dunk it in some ice water and rip the claws off. Set it aside. Now the heads we're going to save and we're going to end up making a sauce with that. And the tails we're going to cut in half. We're gonna, after we come in half, we'll put them on a plate. We'll wrap them up and we'll put them in the refrigerator until we need them. Put the claws back in the pot. They'll take another eight minutes to finish cooking. Once they're done, then we're gonna take them and we're gonna crack them and we'll get the meat out of the claws and the knuckles. I'll have another video on how to break down a lobster to show in more detail. But when breaking apart the claws, be careful, there's a little cartilage piece that sometimes gets stuck in and you have to rip out, so make sure you get that. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the video of how much lobster meat you get out of a one pound lobster. Once all the meat's out, set it on a plate, wrap it in plastic, and set it in the refrigerator until you need it. Next, we're going to heat up a large frying pan and add a half tablespoon of butter to it. We're going to wait till that butter fully melts until we add the lobster. Start with the lobster tails since those aren't cooked. Once the butter is melted, we're going to add the lobster tails meat side down, shell side up. And you want to make sure you, you hear a nice sizzle when you add the lobster tails. And we're going to let the lobster tails sit there for a minute or two until we get some nice color on them. We can check one after we flip them, we'll add another half tablespoon of butter. And once we add the butter, we'll also add the claw meat and the knuckle meat. The claw meat and knuckle meat are all fully cooked, so you're just heating it up. And we're also going to heat up the lobster sauce at the same time. Later, I'll make a lobster sauce video, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. Once you get some good color on the claws and knuckles, you can remove them and then finish cooking all the lobster tails. Now I'm playing this today with my pearl barley risotto style with oyster mushrooms. And I'll grab two lobster tails and I'll twist them together and place them over the top and I'll put the claws on the place around it. You can add in some extra lobster meat if you'd like. And then I'm going to drizzle some uh, lobster sauce around the plate. And then I'm going to add some fennel garnish. Thank you for watching my video, and if you enjoyed it and learned something new, please subscribe. It really helps me out. And please leave a comment on what you liked or you didn't like, and what you'd like to see me make next. Thanks again.